Hey guys, this is Psychotic PC Gamer, and this is just going to be a tutorial on how to get the best frames per second on Dolphin Emulator. This is an emulator for the Wii, and so basically what you what you'll be looking for is 60 frames per second if you're running NTSC games, which is American versions of games, or 50 frames per second for PAL games, which is the European versions. As you can see, I've got four European games and three American games. So the first thing you want to do is, um, if you have your Dolphin open and installed, then that's great. If you haven't, I'll provide the download link in the description. But just feel free to pause this video and, you know, um, just to make sure that you can understand what I'm doing and just follow along with the video. So the first thing you want to do is go to Config tab and you want Enable Dual Core um, checked unless you have a single core CPU. Obviously you don't want this checked then. Um, but if you have a dual core CPU, leave this checked. Um, enable Idle Skipping you want checked because what this does is it renders less when you're in the menus scrolling through the menus so that you get better frames per second because you, you know you don't want really bad frames per second in the menus because then you've got no chance when it comes to the game um, frame limit set leave that on auto because that will um, make sure the game doesn't go up if your computer is powerful enough make sure the game doesn't go over the 60 or 50 fps limit um, you want the CPU emulator engine set to JIT recompiler, which is the recommended. The JIT IL re recompiler is slightly faster, but it's negligible really. Um, which is experimental as well, so you don't want that really, because it can cause quite a few glitches. And the interpreter is very slow, you don't want that at all. Um, the Force console is NTSCJ, if you're using a Japanese um, system and the console's not working properly then just check that but yeah um, interface is up to you it doesn't really affect your performance what setting you choose um, sound settings you want HLE emulation um, some games work better with LLE or HLE just find which ones you're liking and the audio back end set to X Audio 2 which is the fastest um, GameCube, make sure you got Skip BIOS checked, um, because it loads the menus faster and stuff. Um, enable EU RGB 60 modes, PAL 60. Actually, no, I don't want that. Leave that unchecked, because that means that PAL will then run at 60 frames per second, and you don't want that, you want it to run at 50 frames per second. Um, aspect ratio, 16 by 9, or if you've only got, if, or if you haven't got a widescreen monitor, set that to 4x3 but I've got a widescreen monitor to leave that like that um, that's about it the next thing you want to do is go to your graphics tab um, your video backend um, direct 3d9 is usually the fastest one and OpenGL is the most accurate however it is the slowest direct 3d11 is sort of in the middle but I use direct 3d9 it's what works the best for me um, you can leave your adapter as default obviously um, full screen resolution set this to your um, res um, monitor resolution or if you're still unsure just select the highest resolution which works for you use full screen um, it doesn't really make much of a difference on your frames per second in fact it doesn't make any difference on your frames per second v-sync um, this basically reduces tearing in the frames by waiting for um, vertical blanks like the vertical frames to align but it does have quite a bad impact on frames per second and it doesn't really make much of a difference to be honest um, in terms of quality and the frames per seconds impact is quite bad so leave that unchecked um, all of these you can decide it doesn't affect your frames per second internal resolution now this specifies the resolution used to render at auto window size will render it at the resolution that you chose here but the higher that obviously the higher the resolution the more strain it's putting on your CPU slash GPU and the more the frames per second is going to go down so you want that at um, one times native one and a half times native or two times native any of those three or if your computer is more powerful than that if you can get 60 frames per second 
with it on two times negative. Try upping it until you find what works for you. It works. It works good for me on one and a half times negative because I haven't got a very good um, graphics card. I've got Intel HD graphics, which isn't brilliant. Anti-aliasing you want set to none because this can um, it heavily decreases the speed of the emulation and it um, sometimes causes issues in the game. Anisotropic filtering you want left at one time. Doesn't really make much of a difference. Don't turn on any of these um, except scaled EFB copy, which increases the quality of the textures. Um, and it doesn't really make much of a difference in terms of frames per second. Hacks. Um, skip EFB access from CPU. You want that checked, as that ignores any requests from the CPU to read and write to the EFB, which is good because it speeds up your frames per second and doesn't make much of a difference. Ignore format changes. Have that checked. EFB copies. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Certain games, such as Wii Party, which I have here, um, require you to have it on EFB to RAM in order for the Mii's faces to load properly. Any games that use Mii's, there is an issue which hasn't been corrected yet. I'm not using the latest build. The latest build is something like 3.5.589 um, something. But it, it still hasn't been corrected in the newest um, build. Want it, you'd want it on RAM if you're going to use Mii's, but to be honest, I'm not really concerned about the fact that the Mii's faces don't show. I just want to play the game, so I have it on texture. Also, if you have it on RAM, it does um, slow down your emulation quite a lot. Texture cache, this is quite important. You want it on safe, not on fast. Safe, that makes sure there's no errors in the texture rendering. As I've said, it does, inc it does decrease the chance of you getting a faulty Mii, but it still doesn't solve much. Um, open MP texture decoder, turn that on, use, use the multiple threads to decode your textures, the threads are like cores in your CPU, disable fog unless your game requires it, then turn that on, um, don't check any of those three, that's experimental, that's experimental, and that just, um, I've used that on Mario Kart, and that issue was bugging me forever, I had that turned on, and there was um, black black blocks where the characters and stuff should have been the textures are all black if you turn that off then that solves it that problem and unless you're a developer you don't want any of these on so yeah that's it and just to prove that this actually does work i'm just going to play an example game what game should we play Ooh, let's play a bit of we party i'll just go into a game here so let's just press play as you can see it is loading as you can see, I have an Intel Intel Core i3 at 2.2 gigahertz, and I can get round about, as you can see in the top left corner there, 60 frames per second. I can get about 40, 50 frames per second in game. That's about as high as I can make it go. As you can see, 50 frames per second. It, it normally around 55, just because I'm using Camtasia, it lags a bit. So as you can see, let's just play an example game to show you what I mean. As you can see, I'm getting 60 frames per second, which is what which is what you'll be looking for. Yeah, as you can see, the Mii's faces glitch out. So 50, 60 frames per second is what you want. So yeah, that's about it, guys. I don't think there's anything else worth talking about in this video. Um, surprisingly, Dolphin is the only Wii emulator. So if you want a Wii emulator, this is the one to get. Um, it's not that hard on the CPU and GPU if you have like a um, a Pentium or Intel HD graphics like I've got or an Intel Core i3 like I've got um, it's not too hard on CPU even with stuff on high settings you can get around 20 frames per second which is not bad but it's really not great you do want 50 to 60 frames per second otherwise the game doesn't run smoothly smoothly as you'd like so that's about it guys any other tips or any other questions you have about this tutorial or anything to do with Dolphin, feel free to write it in the comment section below. Uh, as always, guys, remember to subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.